wonder who that's at the door. I'm expecting a parcel, so hopefully it is. Oh, looks like my parcel has arrived. Ooh, fragile. wonder what's in it. Oh, hi everyone. Thanks for stopping by. It's nice to see you again. Do you want to come out the back and uh, we'll open up my parcel and uh, do a couple of things out in the garden? Great. Okay. Let's go. But yeah, everyone's at home is going, whoa, wonder what's in here. wonder what's in here. It's always exciting when someone gets a parcel and they open it up, I think. Okay, so get my scissors. Okay. Hard to open. Oh, it's a product I bought from Vasily's Garden online. It's not the only place I've actually uh, found one of these. It's a uh, compost thermometer. I see a lot of people on YouTube with one of these, so I always thought, oh, I really want one of those ones. And now I'm going to have my very own thermometer. It's always fine that the ones that the people use on YouTube when they're doing their compost bins and that, it uh, works really well. And uh, I like the idea of them. So how about we head out to my compost bin and we'll pop this in and see what it uh, reads. Unfortunately, I oh know, Celsius is on the outside. So we've got the inside's got Fahrenheit. Oh, that was lucky, wasn't it? <laughs> the outside dial, which is a bit hard to see. Um, that's Celsius. Okay, so pull the lid off of that. Oh, it's looking pretty good in there. So I'll pop this in there and we'll see what... Uh, I don't think you take that off, do you? No, I'm not pulling nothing off. And I'll pop that in there and I'll just see what it reads. We'll give it a few minutes. What's it reading? So it's reading 80 degrees Fahrenheit. And that is about 24. 25 degrees Celsius so this bin I haven't heated up so it's not obviously going to get super hot but yeah I just wanted to see how warm it is in there I'll wait a couple of minutes and what I might just do is aerate that bin out anyway and we'll just see uh, what sort of uh, worm life we've got in there yep so I don't think it's really going to get any hotter than that so it did get hot once before, but um, yeah, it wasn't up into the orange, put it that way. <laughs> Do is so I'll pop my little uh, aerator in and I'll just zoom you in. So if I've got any worms there, you might be able to see them. Oh, one of those little birds just reckons I'm a little bit too close. New Holland honey eater warning everybody else that I'm too close somewhere. that we do have some worms there you can probably see that breaking down really nicely and since I've put a lot of um, that coffee cup there it's supposed to be a uh, biodegradable one which uh, yeah looks like it might be biodegrading down but what happens is they do leave a bit of plastic behind which is fine it's easy to get out I don't have any qualms with that I 
The one good thing about it is I put a lot of coffee grounds in here and I haven't actually seen any snails or slugs. There we go, we've got some more worms there. There's abundance of worms in this bin. So these would come all around my garden to come and visit this bin. So pretty happy with this. I haven't added anything extra to this bin. It's just uh, sitting here breaking down now. And I've started on this bin next to it. So yeah, so I think having the coffee grounds in here has been really good because I haven't seen any slaters either. It's just worms and other beneficial insects in here. So while we're here at the hungry bin, I might as well have a look inside and see how everything is going in there. A little bit of an update. I'll just grab my gloves and say good day. Got a couple on top of the pillowcase there. Down a little bit. Mm. Oh, that's got quite a number of worms there. I'll just bring those in. Yeah. Yep, they're all scattered through here. Got some carrots. Some broccoli and some cucumber. So they're really enjoying it here. They've got a whole apartment here. So they've got this whole bin. And each level of the bin, if you've seen that video, I layered it with different um, types of bedding. And the bedding is also becomes their food source as well. So if they don't want to mix with anyone else and they want to go down to the basement, they can. So this bin, once it's full right up here, um, it can hold about 10,000 worms in here. So, you know, the more worms that you have in one, one bed, uh, the more and the, the, the quicker your compost will uh, be ready. So see, they love straw in amongst the straw in there as well. Love hiding in there and got egg cartons and I've got, got cow manure, a bit of mushroom compost, a little bit of coffee grounds. So yeah this bed is doing really well. It's uh, not dry or anything. It's uh, just a nice consistency and uh, I don't know what this is. What is this? I have no idea what this is. <laughs> it's in the bed. It's like I had to break it open. How unusual. Unless that was in the, the cow compost or whatnot, but... <laughs> don't know. That is very unusual. Anyway, we'll let these little worms go back in peace and I'll just, we'll just do a little update on there. Okay, well thanks for stopping by, taking a little bit of time out of your day to um, come and watch my video. I really appreciate that. And if you do like it, please give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you haven't. That would be really great. And to my existing subscribers, thank you again for being supportive of me and my little channel. Okay, until the next video, uh, thanks for watching and I shall see you then. Bye-bye.